I'm sorry, Dan. I'll kill him. You hear me? I'm gonna kill him. What? What's happened? Fire started in the field. Headed straight for the cabin. Dan believes the birds. I said it. I'll find him. Are you all right? Build. You have to choose between us, you know. David, just because I'm friendly with McNeil doesn't... Don't. I'm going to El Pano next week to make the final payment on your ring. When I return... I want to put it on your finger. Or I want to leave the notion of our marriage together behind us. Forever. spoil the child mother you're not a child anymore margaret but you are indeed spoiled spoiled i barely have two cents to rub together if i did do you think i'd be singing in a tea house no panel do you think i wanted to come here and humiliate you mother after the treatments i was broke i had no choice are you well I'm over 30. I have nothing. I own nothing. No home. No pride. Even my clothes aren't paid for. See ya. I'm in a little trouble. I need some money to pay off some debts in Atlanta. What if I were to get sick again? I have no money for medicine. Money? Is that what you want? You owe me! I have nothing left to give you. Because you have given it all away to those miserable mountain people. Don't you see that it is hopeless? They give me nothing but hope. All your life, I've looked for a glimmer of hope in you, Margaret. Something I could hold on to, anything to build on. But you are empty, Margaret. Empty and selfish. And you will not be satisfied until you have drained the everlasting life out of me. You created me, Mother. I had no choice in the matter. And you have blamed me every day of my life for it. Enough! I will no longer take responsibility for your wretched life. It's yours. Yes, I gave it thee. Take it back. Stop bludgeoning me with it. I wish I had never been born to you. Then you shall have your wish. There is no longer any place for you, Margaret. 
in my life. Dan relentlessly pursued Birdseye, but I had a strong suspicion that Creed Allen was far more likely to provide an answer to the fire than the tight-lipped Birdseye Taylor. Creed here. Oh, you can't see him. Creed's powerful sick. He's been heaving for hours. Ever since the fire, I suspect. Mary, please, let me speak to Creed. A man's life may depend on it. Creed, come out here. Did you smoke rabbit tobacco outside of Dan's place? You don't do that no more. Did you drop it in the field, Creed, by accident? No. Gotta go inside now. Lay down. Sick. You listen to me, Creed. Nothing in the world makes you sicker than living a lie. Nothing. Hello, Daniel. He's here, isn't he? I thought you were my friend. I am. Do you think I'm only protecting Bird's Eye? He swore he didn't set that fire. And you believe him? He swore on the Bible. He burned down my home. Go on, Daniel. No good can come from this. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. I am not backing down this time. I've been backing down from white men all my life. Here they come. You better go in the house now, Daniel. Don't look them in the eye, Daniel. It makes them mad. Well, I got just as much right to be on this land as he does. Do you hear me, Bird's Eye Taylor? Why don't you show yourself? Face me like a man instead of sneaking around like the chicken-stealing thief you are. I'm not some horse you can spook. I'm not some bird you can break. I'm a man. Shoot me. They'll lynch you. Sure as the world. Dan? Dan? No, no. I did it, Mr. Dan. I didn't mean to. Please don't shoot Bird's Eye. It was an accident. Creed was smoking rabbit tobacco out back at your place, and it got away from him. Supper time, Daniel. We've come to take you to the mission. You didn't do it, Miss Alice. I accused an innocent man. Bird's eye has been hateful to you. It was an honest mistake. Was it? It's a fact that Bird's eye Taylor is ignorant and taken to mean us. Yeah, but he didn't do this. He didn't burn down my cabin, and I blamed him for it. I tracked him, and I hunted him down with the same hate that's chased me all my life. And I almost killed him. I'm not going to try and say anything to you to make you feel better. That would diminish what you've gone through. Now, come on. That'll keep till tomorrow.
make yourself at home. I'm sorry. Um, it's lovely. I couldn't help myself. Forget it. No one minds their manners around me. So I don't either. Want some tea? Don't worry. It's the real thing. No, I should be getting back before that. So you're leaving? In the 705 train. I'm sorry it didn't work out the way you wanted it to, Margaret. What in the world are you talking about? I wasn't sure until I saw the locket. You came to Alpano on purpose, didn't you? Now, why would I do that? Because you missed them. Miss Alice and Dr. McNeil. What if I did? What good would it do? All the good in the world if you could just find it in your heart to let them know. I, um, uh, I just read a new book. Pollyanna. You remind me of the heroine. I'm afraid for you to leave this time because I don't think you'll ever come back. And it would break your mother's heart. And yours. <laughs>